There's a lot being said about Tesla's 100 year battery. Yes, this battery will definitely work for 100 years. I'm convinced. I'm, I don't think there's even a question. I think if you re actually read the research paper, you look at the data, it will last for more than 100 years. I'm not saying 100, more than 100. But there's some very important information being left out in what I'm seeing coming from the media. It's something that actually changes the scenario quite drastically. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel on the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the new subscribers and welcome back everyone else. My name is Sam Evans. I'm coming to you here from Melbourne, Australia. And on this channel, we like to talk about facts. This new battery, yes, it's brilliant, but there is one downside to it. It doesn't have the energy density of modern lithium ternary batteries, meaning a 4680 energy cell. It's not intended, in other words, for, well, probably for mass car use, unless they can increase the energy density. Now, what is this battery that I'm talking about? Well, Jeff Dahn, who is funded solely by Tesla and his team of researchers, who are also funded by Tesla, well, they work at the Dalhousie University in Halifax, Canada. Dan is the man responsible for this new million mile EV battery. A million miles is 1.6 million kilometers, which is, to be honest, groundbreaking. Why is it groundbreaking? This will completely change the way we look at a car, right? I mean, really, in the future, this is what's going to happen. You won't buy a car with a battery. Why would you? I mean, 2040, right? 2040, you won't buy a battery unless it's your first car ever. I mean, you'll have another car, which you've been driving for the last five years or more, 10 years, maybe longer. And when you want to get rid of that old car, you'll simply remove the battery, put it in the new car you buy. I mean, why would you get rid of the most expensive, by far, part of a car when it's still got 80% of its usable life left? This is what's going to happen. This will massively bring down the cost of cars. But, yeah. Will this happen with this battery technology? Well, yeah, we'll get into that in a second. Now, to be honest, this is not really all that groundbreaking in and of itself. For a battery to last 100 years doesn't mean jack, honestly. That's the truth. There are still there are batteries that were made 100 years ago that still work today. <laughs> Low energy density, yeah, don't last for very long. Yeah, but they still work. So that's not the key point here. The key point is, you can literally use the thing for 100 years and it will maintain a significant usable lifespan. In other words, you can still be using it in 100 years and it might have 50% capacity left in the battery or 40%, whatever it will be, it will be a usable good life capacity. And you can use this thing regularly over the course of 100 years, not like these batteries that we still have that are 100 years old that might have been used for five years, 10 years constantly and then out of use for the next 90. But yeah, we can still turn them over. They still work, but they haven't been used for 100 years. It's a big difference. Now, Tesla has created a Tesla Advanced Battery Research Division in 2016. And this research group was put together as part of a partnership with esteemed battery expert, Jeff Dahn. Jeff was one of the earliest experts to get heavily involved in lithium ion batteries. And Dahn and his group have a primary goal to make batteries last longer. Though, increased energy density and decreased costs are also part of their mission. So, what's their mission? Make batteries last longer, a lot longer. Increase battery energy density and decrease the cost of the battery. So, they're the three things they're working on. Now, Dan and his team have already created multiple patents and papers related to Tesla's batteries. Not long ago, Tesla decided to extend its contract with Dan and also with the team till 2026. Well, now the team actually has two new people in charge, both of them who were trained by Dan. Dan and Michael Metzger, one of the newly established leaders of the battery research team, are a few of the authors listed in a new research paper related to lithium-ion batteries. Electric says the other authors are PhDs in the program. The paper entitled Lee and a bunch of gibberish O2 as a superior alternative to 
lithium ion phosphate batteries for long lived low voltage lithium ion cells was published in the Journal of Electromechanical Society. The paper dives into the complex details surrounding a potential nickel based chemistry that could last 100 years under the right conditions. So the key point is here. Yes, we do already have lithium ion phosphate battery cells that will last a long time. But the goal was to make a battery which was nickel based and potentially nickel and manganese based, which would last just as long, if not longer than lithium ion phosphate batteries. This chemistry is also said to be comparable to current LFP battery cells when it comes to charging and energy density, meaning it's got a lower energy density than Tesla's current 4680 battery cells. Like LFP batteries, the proposed chemistry stands to offer more range with fewer batteries car costs, reducing the cost of robo chassis. I think this is Tesla's real goal to actually dominate the world with robo chassis and to do it on a very, very low cost that no one can compete with. That's what I think their plan is. So do we need a battery, right? Because clearly these batteries are not really, are they going to be viable for use in a modern car? Well, at this stage, probably not if the energy density is low, as low as current lithium ion phosphate batteries. Because as you know, if you've been watching this channel, lithium ion phosphate batteries will have far greater energy density by the end of this year. And that's coming from multiple lithium ion phosphate companies that have already produced these cells, already have them, and they're about to go into mass production by the end of this year. So that will mean that lithium ion phosphate batteries will have a higher energy density than these battery cells by the end of the year, in theory. But the key here is, I think, the Tesla want to use the new LMPO batteries, which use manganese as the primary cathode. And these batteries need a lot less lithium than lithium ion phosphate batteries. And in addition to that, Tesla want two things. They want low cost battery storage, right? And they want to be able to make those batteries themselves. And they also want robo taxis. I believe this is the kind of battery chemistry that would be perfect for both of those two mechanisms. A very long lifespan would be more significant for stationary storage as it would reduce the amount of new storage needed for each year to keep total storage capacity from shrinking. We're going to need a lot of storage to stabilize the grid as more wind and solar with their intermittency issues are added to the grid. It's happening every year, massively. This is the solution to the world's energy needs, just not in the way you think. If the batteries last longer than another choice and cost the same initially, it also lowers the effective cost of energy storage. Now, of course, if these batteries were used in cheaper, lower cost cars from Tesla, then in theory, you could, once the car has reached the end of its usable life, simply remove the battery, and like I said before, put it into your new car. Meaning, essentially, you might buy one car with a battery pack and never buy one ever again. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.